Good day. Welcome to Jerry Holdings. Today we will make another video to show you in regarding the Jerry Holdings tube light and what is the difference in the markets from the regular standard tube lights to a Jerry Holdings tube light. What makes Jerry Holdings tube light so unique is the design and the patent what we did in the market is because uh, during the period of time, manufacturing, selling lights, and listen to complaints in the market. So we designed uh, the superior tube and the uniqueness of that. The Jerry Holdings tube has got a certain pattern of design. What we uh, uh, put into the market, it's very easy to manufacture in the light, and it gets rid of a bunch of problems what is into the market today. If you buy a regular tube light into the market today, the way they're manufacturing it is they take the tube, take the strip light, and they slide that in, and that's how it is serviced. But with that motion of sliding in, uh, it presents you with a bunch of problems, or a, a great deal of problems, is that when you slide the tube light in, when you actually take your heat paste you apply your heat paste on from left to right and you take your tube light and uh, you take the strip and you start sliding the strip in so it means it actually start pu pushing all the heat paste in one bundle in front so it leaves gaps of heat paste between the strip going forward so with that you will get situations like this or sometimes they don't even put any heat sink at all on a tube light so that's why you need to avoid having that sound on a tube light because when you do and hear that sound it means on the end of the day the light will not perform to its best capacity on the end of the day to provide you a service with the Jerick Holdings tube light is when you do apply the paste on the end of the day it's one little motion, the strip guy slides in, it falls flat, and the whole light is completely. So there is no sliding of any strip on the end of the day. So that is the uniqueness of the Jerry Holdings light uh, and the strip. Then also we have to look at the thickness. If you take a regular tube light, what is basically in the market, uh, you do measure measure the, the thickness of the light it is around about less than one millimeter thick so there is not enough aluminium on the end of the day to do a proper job to transfer all the heat from the diets back to the body if you look at the Jerick Holdings tube light if you do the measurement it's 1.5 mm thick so it's a quite thick tube so it does the job on the end of the day it transfers all the heat from the diodes back to the tube so if you're actually taking a cherry Holdings light what is already completely built and you tap on the light you will hear there is no vibration because the heat base and the strip is matched to each other and it means it can transfer the heat from the diodes back to the tube quite well and also what, what makes Jerry Holdings a quite unique light is that we build it a 100% serviceable light. A lot of people ask me, what is a serviceable LED light? It means on the end of the day, when you purchase a light, you never have to purchase a complete light again. Only the driver and only the strip, when it gets to its uh, life expectancy, when it's done on 50,000 hours, basically you will take the strip it takes less than, I would say, maybe 10 seconds to disassemble the complete light. The strip actually comes out. It slides out and you just take your strip. The strip slides to the side. You give it a small little twist and everything comes out. You can actually see all the heat paste on the strip and you can also see all the heat paste on the tube so that's why it's so important to have these things and what is a serviceable light Jerry Holdings 
there is no soldering on the points at all and on the driver it's just a plug and play as you also can see a Jerry Holdings driver a Jerry Holdings driver is completely heat sealed so there's no sparks or any uh, soldering what will stick through on the heat paste so it can actually touch the body of the aluminium tube so there is no sparks or any electricity what can flow through and all the wiring is double insulated if you look at the normal drivers uh, how small the little drivers is as you guys can see uh, there's no lighting protectors no surge protectors this is all the little things what you have to look at on the end of the day versus a Jerry Holdings driver what is quite superior than the smaller drivers into the market and when you do assemble, assemble the light basically what you do is you just take your strip you take your tube you slide it in at the 45 degrees it slides back so there is actually nothing hold the tube so when you take the tube and you slide it the strip will not come out because the strip is held on by the heat paste so it tells you that the heat paste is doing its job you basically slide the driver in place connect the driver to the connector it slides in the end cap gets slided in or on gets squeezed in your strip and your cover it clips in your end cap comes on to the end to the day that clips in and then you've got light that's how fast you manufacturing an LED tube light from Jurek Holdings so it's very important to have these things sorted out ask the right questions make sure you've got a good driver make sure you've got a good strip based on an aluminium strip the diet is not placed far apart and then very and a, and a, and a very quick education on LED fittings uh, a jerry Holdings light is only powered on one side so if I put it in and I turn it as you can see it's only powered on one side and the benefit of that is installation is very easy safety is very high and that is some of the huge benefits of having power on the one side quickly when you do a retrofit on a LED tube light is that the following things needs to be in place when you're taking an existing light it means it's a standard light what works in the factory in the building in the stores and it runs on regular tube lights at this moment in time you have to remove everything inside the electronical ballast the mechanical ballast everything gets removed from there and this is the, the steps what you need to follow you have to make sure there is a sticker on what says dead side live side the diagram with the uh, inline fuse uh, uh, symbol and also the warning because LED lights and tube lights especially on the bright ones they will look quite similar and if somebody goes and change it and you're taking an LED light out and you replace it with a regular fluorescent light there will be an electrical situation going on and when a person do that and they're putting the wrong light into an LED fitting the breaker sometimes is too strong it will not trip so what you need to do then there needs to be an inline fuse now the inline fuse is very important to have an inline fuse in there and uh, sorry let me just turn it around uh, the the warning sign will also be in there your diagram sign will also be in there and so that's very important to have this 50 cents 20 cents inline fuse there because this is your first protection going back to the main board this 10, 10 cents 5 cents fuse will just pop and you just replace it if this was not in line and for some reason the electronical driver of the LED light uh, will fail then the breaker what is too strong on 
the break of water will not trip, then your next situation is you will have burning wires inside your roof or in the, the cabling system. So it's very important to have an inline fuse. Just the last is you're getting also a different inline fuse uh, on the connector block. Make sure the connector block that you're actually using inside your fitting is the right rating on, on your heat. Uh, it's already got a built-in fuse. There's a little built-in fuse already. So it's a very quick installation. So you can just pop it in. There's your inline fuse, a quick installation, and there's your wiring and your warning stickers is inside your fitting. All the warning stickers is inside. There's your warning stickers. Um, there's your diagram stickers. Everything is inside your fitting. So make sure you guys are practicing safe installations out there. And this is how a jury holding slides works. And that's why we are such a good provider of quality tube lights into the market. And thank you very much for listening to the video. Um, we will, in the near future, play some more videos on floodlights, downlighters, etc. etc. But this education video is about a cherry holding tube and why we are making a difference into the market. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye bye.